Yeah, Hurry up, I'm trying to make this fucking video, bitch. Can I load the motherfucking game first? No, I'm trying to make this fucking video first, bitch. Banana eating ass, man. Oh, you like bananas. Bananas, don't be eating ass, bro. You gross. I said, yo. That's a chocolate banana. Oh my god, bro! I'm, I was actually, I was actually trying to play the crew too, sitting here eating my fucking bananas and shit. We gonna make a video? We can actually make a video. Fuck it, we'll make the video. Let me pull out my notes. This man said he got FIFA 20. Yeah, heard. He don't know. He's about to get ended, bro. I believe you. Who put you on this planet to get FIFA 20? I'm gonna make you regret it. I work at a pawn shop. Bro, the 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 blesses, the blesses of working at pawn shop. I get free shit. All right, what's going on, guys? It is your host, Ali, or Cringe Ali, or Guts Ali, whatever floats your boat. And today we are here bringing you a new video. I've been busy with IRL stuff lately, but I'm back on my grind. I'm back on that bullshit. All right, so with this new patch notes that came out lately, they came out with an update for the underbarrel shotgun, 12 gauge deputy shotgun. Woohoo! Woohoo! Why would you do that? Fuck a beach, nigga! Ah! I'm dead! Oh, no, I'm not. No! What? Oh, you can't push them? Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna get some, some bot minutes. I'm gonna find you, y'all. I don't know how he didn't die. He just took a shotgun, but he, he just spawned right in front of me and I bodied him. I feel sorry for that. No! Oh, no! Sits on! Jeez. But I was already running for the grenade that I was one from. Okay. Oh, now these niggas wanna snipe and shit. Fuck these bitch ass, stupid ass. Yeah. Camping bitch ass motherfuckers. Yeah, believe, believe me out, man. I'll tell you video. You know? No, man. I already get yellow right. signs. It's not like I'm making money off of this, anyways. Oh, True life of a YouTuber, bro. It's the passion. Okay, it's I'm not the good. money. I'm good to. Uh, to say the oh. Bro, I just bodied so many of these motherfuckers Burn with the shot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> burn, bitch, burn. Alright, so with this new patch note, we ended up seeing a big old buff to the underbarrel 12 gauge shotgun. The underbarrel in this game is not good, and most of the time, with even with the older Call of Duties, the underbarrel shotguns have never been that good, and it always took one to two bullets to kill the guy depended on the range and if we're working with fart range i think we're in big trouble that was across all the call of duties and if you think about it if weapons were attachments and attachments were weapons it kind of makes it ridiculous for the attachment to be more stronger than your primary if that makes sense so for example if you have we got rest again so i'm upset about that it's yeah, fine why the fuck why almost i'm sleeping so for example what I mean the M4 can destroy at long distances and if I just switch to my shoddy 12 gauge that I have on it so for example when you have the M4 at long distance range and it can destroy it, and then you can swap out to this shotgun attachment and just destroy somebody but in this case I got destroyed myself because I mean Call of Duty is never on my side so let's go with that now here's what I'm mainly concerned with or really kind of wondering is how long it takes to swap and then how long it takes for the shotgun to actually be activated and ready to shoot seems generally fast and you can shoot pretty fast but you don't get that much of ammo you get I believe six bullets and that's it and then you have to kill yourself with a thermite like this reverse boosting I killed somebody with my thermite. <laughs> now supposedly the 12 gauge shotgun on the attachment is supposed to mess with the ADS speed only, but at the moment I can see my- Fuck, I got bodied by 725. As I was saying, I can see my gun shake when I'm trying to aim in to get the kills way more than I would with uh, Commander Foregrip. I've been seeing the good old debate about aim assist come back up again in Twitter and seeing through the whole thing, the people that have been talking about it and fighting about the debate are all the people that kind of sucked back in BO4 where they were demanding that the aim assist be taken off from the snipers and their wish became true and they still got bodied. Don't get me wrong. They didn't know what the fuck they were doing anyways, but that seems to be the main concern. I really don't care what they do with the aim assist. But if I had to pick, I think the aim assist is a little bit more stronger. They would probably dial it down by a little bit. 
that's really it. I don't know how it would affect the game. I don't know if that's beneficial or if that, it would change the game's play style. The aim assist on the snipers, guess what? With it or not, we'll still shit on you, kid. Continuing off of what you were saying about that, I still feel like they should change that shit. I didn't really know that they were talking about it, but they should change that shit for real, for real. Because, I mean, people just walk around corners and just spray shit, especially if you got somebody that has an LMG with, like, no stop and no stop shit. Just walk around a corner, spray, hold down R1, and you have a 6x six, six kill feed. We're going to go ahead and take the 12-gauge WD shotgun onto a game of Rust, and we're going to see how we do with this thing, see if it's actually dot shit or if it's actually godlike. You know, we're gonna have the two comparisons, see which one outweighs the other. Supposedly only slows down your aim down sight speed, lessen the control on, but in reality, I felt like it lessened the control on the day. Fuck, man, come on. But in reality, I felt like it made the screen shake way more. But in reality, I felt- <laughs> Fuck it, I'm just not gonna do this. We're just gonna take this damn shotgun into action. Oh, right there. Body. Body. <laughs> what? Five multi? I got a fucking five. 